Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Some of my family came to visit from the lower 48 and they brought me treasures from the Dollar Tree. Look at this bag, stuffed full. So I thought we should unpack it together and see what are the treasures that I have from the Dollar Tree. We don't have Dollar Tree in Alaska, so it's always nice when I go to the lower 48. I love shopping there. And then when my family comes to see me, they bring me things. Cotton rounds are great to have for your first aid, your makeup removal, and you can even use them to make char cloth or start fires. Rub them with some petroleum jelly to start a fire. A great reason to have cotton rounds along with cotton balls is if you want to like clean off your makeup or wipe a wound, a cotton ball can leave little fibers behind and a cotton round does not. Rolled gauze. You can see this has been packed. It was smashed in the suitcase, but that's okay. It's the gauze inside that counts. Here's an elastic bandage. Great for first aid. Athlete's foot cream. I'm seeing that there's a pattern going on here. I think everything might be for first aid. Look at this lighter. It's like a cross between a regular cigarette lighter and a utility lighter, and it says that it has an electronic ignition, so perhaps you can just push the button and it will light rather than trying to flick the wheel like you do on a regular lighter. Let's open it up and try it. That to me looks like that's what it's going to do. That is what it does. That's handy. You just have to push down on the button. This works great. I don't have very strong hands, but I'm able to do this. And maybe you're like me and you've never been a smoker, and so running your finger over the little wheel to light a traditional lighter is uncomfortable. And yeah, it's not intuitive if you don't smoke on how to use those things if you never use them. So this is nice. It's easy to push the button. The extension on it will help it be easy to put into lanterns or uh, candles that are deep inside containers, things like that. So that'll be nice. Some feminine hygiene products. You can also put these as a layer in your shoe if you need a cushion or something like that. So there are other uses besides just what we traditionally think of these. Oral analgesic gel. So if you ever have a toothache or a sore in your mouth, that would be something handy to have on hand. I didn't have any of that, so that'll be very handy to add to my first aid supplies. Anti-itch cream. That could be everything from a rash to a bug bite. That'll be handy. Here's a two pack of chapstick. And you know, these are nice not only for using on your list, but you can, if you're hiking and you get a, a hot spot on your foot, you can rub a little chapstick on it and then it makes a barrier so that maybe you won't get a blister. And these are also great. You can rub this onto your cotton rounds and start a fire if you need to. Once you use up all of the chapstick, roll it all the way up and take out the little plastic part and you can hide money in here. Here's Dentec. It's one of the temporary dental kits if you ever have lost a filling or something like that. These are really handy and if you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree, they're a fantastic buy because dental emergencies can really be uh, very painful. This can help you have comfort until you can figure out how to get an appointment with the dentist. Sandwich size Ziploc bags, those are always handy. Hydrocortisone cream, that'll be great for itches, rashes, mosquito bites. Here's a bottle of baby aspirin, this has 40 in here. Eye drops, that's a great buy if you can find eye drops. The last time I needed eye drops, I went into the pharmacy at the drugstore and they were ridiculous how much they cost. I think the least expensive one was eight or nine dollars. So if you can pick some of this up at the Dollar Tree, that is a good savings cough medicine. I like the cough medicine from the Dollar Tree. It has the same ingredients as more expensive name brands and I also like that it comes in a small size container because you don't have to then open a whole big bottle and then you have it left over once your cough goes away. Here's a little package of flexible fabric band-aids. That's a little travel kit. There's eight in here. Eight all one size. That's the common size that I prefer so this is handy. The flexible fabrics stay on so much better than plastic ones that if you have a choice, try to get these because 
they're really a much better quality band-aid. Here's some flexible fabric bandages, and these are shaped to go over fingers and knuckles, so those are really going to be handy. I don't have anything like that already. See what the shapes are? So that's something to definitely look for at the Dollar Tree. Oh, here's skin protectant and diaper rash ointment. I think this would be the more the clear ointment that would be like A and D ointment. It's nice to have a wide variety of different kinds of ointments. While it may seem like they all are to serve the same purpose, you might find that one works better than another depending on what your actual itch or rash is from. Here's some gauze pads. Oh. <laughs> Deodorant. This is my favorite one. This is also handy to have if you're going hiking and you feel like you're getting a hot spot on your foot, rub some of this on. Even before you go out for a hike, put some of this, rub some of this on places that your shoes might rub on your feet and you'll find that it prevents blisters because it puts a protective coating between your skin and any other whatever could rub on it. So there are six chapsticks. Some Purell wipes. What's this? Oh, and antibacterial wet wipes. Those will be handy. This has two white packs with a total of 30, so that would be 15 each, I guess. So that's nice to have the wipes in travel size containers. You could put one in your get home bag, you could put one in your bug out bag. It turns out first aid supplies were a very important gift to Alaska Granny because this little one ended up getting hurt and having to be checked out in the emergency room. But no worries, she's going to be just fine. So those are the items that I got from the Dollar Tree. Thanks to my family for bringing me some first aid supplies and special treats and spending time with me. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.